In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the 2D functionality in MC1 with a laser as a height reference. Typical use cases are grading, trenches for pipes, slopes and ditches, anything where you need to work with one or two slopes. In this example, we will follow the creation of a parking lot. Our parking lot has two slopes. One with 20 per mil slope, which we will use as the X direction. And one with 10 per mil slope, which we will use as the Y direction. Start by setting up the laser. Remember to elevate the laser to a level where it can hit the laser catcher on the machine. Let us have a view from the top. Important! Make sure your laser's X direction is aligned with the desired X direction on the project. Enter the slopes on the laser. X 20 per mil. Y 10 per mil. We need a reference spot where we can bench the tool point. This could be a stake set by a surveyor. But in this example, we will use a spot on the ground. Move the machine near to the chosen reference spot. Rotate the machine so the direction of the boom is aligned with the desired X direction. On the panel, press X direction to orient your machine. To adjust the slopes according to the project, press the Model Options button. Enter the X slope 20 per mil. Enter the Y slope 10 per mil. Position your boom and stick so the laser catcher registers the laser beam. When MCE1 can see the laser beam, the zero button will become a laser zero button. Press the laser zero button. Place your tool point on the reference spot. Read the height difference between your tool point and the laser beam. If the reference spot is at the desired height, you can simply enter this value into your height offset and you are ready to start working. However, if the reference spot is not at the desired height, you need to incorporate the difference when you enter the height offset. You are now ready to work. When you need to move your machine, then do the following. Move the machine to the new position. Position your boom and stick until the laser catcher registers the laser beam. Press laser zero and get back to work. That's it. You have learned how to use the 2D functionality in MC1 with a laser as height reference.